How's it going, Mechanetics? Today we're going to be going over Hercules, I believe it's the large mouth tool bag. This is the 16 inch and it's going to run you $60. It's a big price to pay, but it's really good. Let's get right into it. Straight off the bat, it does come with that little area, that slot you see in the middle, it's removable. But yeah, let's get into the handle of it first, how you can uh, carry this. It comes with the typical handle at the top, but you can also grab it as a waist bag, I believe it's called, or like, you know, the gym bags. It's a really sturdy um, handle, both of them. It's also a sturdy um, clip. As you can see, the clips are really like thick and they don't have much place, so they won't be falling off. I do like grabbing it from the other handles, the shorter handles, though. It feels just to me, it feels a little bit better. Uh, and there's both sturdy handles. But yeah, let's get right into the actual things it has. All of the slots and all of that good stuff, starting out with this nice clip for your for me, it's it's going to be used for gloves. It's a nice clip to have. I, I'm not sure what you would use it for. Comment down below for what you would use this for. And right underneath, I have my two most used wrenches, my 17 and 19. And below that, I have some Torx. I don't use these as much, but they fit there. It's just for demonstration purposes. And it has that clip at the bottom for a tape measure. And yeah, moving to this hard shell component. First, let's go over these little little slots. I like putting either small screwdrivers or this little mini ratchet. And on this other side is basically the same thing. Some Torx, some screwdrivers. And yeah, they all feel snug. And this little zipper in there, it's like a hard shell. I guess it's for your electronics. I do wish it could have been a little bit bigger, but it does fit this um, tray I got at the Dollar Tree. I got this to put my little sockets in there, and it also fits some cotter pins in this other little tray. I I do wish this um, shell case was a little longer so that I can put my code reader or just something, you know? Because it, it doesn't really feel like, I don't know, I feel it should be a little longer just to fit the scanners or just something, you know. Uh, with this size, you don't you can't really fit much. You're, it's a tight space. Comment down below what you would use this for or what you use this for. But it's a really good um, space to have. And behind it, it's, it's yet another pocket to fit in even more stuff. So yeah, it's a really good organizer. So far, I do enjoy this. I'm trying to utilize as much as I can. From these sides, it's both the same thing. It has these little handles. I'm not sure what they're for. I'm assuming it's like to store your power tools or something like that. I'm not sure. But I wouldn't trust it there that much. I mean, it is getting too bulky. But again, moving on to the other side, it comes with these slots. These slots, I feel, are a little bit more um, narrow or I guess the right word. They're just shorter. So I put in, I don't really trust this area yet, but I'm still, you know, growing. I'm adding to it. There's going to be probably an update as to what I use this for. But it does come with these nice things to put your pocket screwdriver, your pocket pry bar, anything with a clip. It's lit. It, it slides in there perfectly in that little blue blue slots not these slots the other slots the ones that are on top it also comes with this little thing here i think you could attach other you know attachments to it with there uh or a zip tie and then you know do other things moving on to the inside it comes with this little zipper i do like the zipper i put in my tire plug some chalk it is a bit tight of a fit, so just do keep that in mind. It'll probably fit two more of these tire plugs if I want to fit them. And yeah, again, it comes out, this thing, it detaches, the thing in the middle. It's just another organizer to put in screwdrivers, wrenches, or pliers. But yeah, real quickly, we're going to go into the rest of it. 
It's basically slots, you know, to put in wrenches, pliers, like I said. And I'm trying to utilize the most. Here is a demo of my Icon pliers, and they fit pretty good. I do like how they fit snug. Very little play. I'm able to fit this little tray in there. And, yeah, I took it out so you can see um, a, little, a little bit clear. I know it's hard, but, uh, yeah, here's where I keep my little wrenches. These are my ratcheting wrenches, the ones I use for, like, oil changes and stuff like that. And I do keep my gold ratchet on that side as well. The screwdrivers that you saw earlier do not fit in the middle. It won't close. And this is another tray I'm going to be using for, like, extensions, my spark plug sockets. It's a really nice tray. Got this at a big five, I believe. So yeah, it just goes to show you don't always need to shop at a tool store for these things. And yeah, I carry my oil, my, you know, just everything for oil related and trying, I'm trying to make this like an oil slash brake slash hopefully all around kind of bag because it, it has potential. I do enjoy it. I definitely recommend it. The price is uh, expensive, but if you're really considering doing this as a, as a job, I do recommend this. I recommend this a bit more than the other tool bag I, I, I did on Hercules a while back. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, this has been MechaWorks.